<laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Oh jeez, how do you get out of this? I didn't think this far. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is a tough one. I don't know if oh, I went God. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> it's gonna be really tough. Rough for the dude in the shower too. Alright, you ready for this? Tries tries to. To. Tell them if Tell they try anything, they... my boyfriend Jose will shake them in their sleep. Me and Jose make love to assert dominance. What? <laughs> 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 spot threat caught the attention of the five giant men who hesitated for a moment. Oh, oh only just for a, a moment. moment. <laughs> they seemed to consider the consequences of messing with someone who had backup. However, as Dylan's words hung in the air, the men burst out laughing at the mention of Jose and scoffed at the idea <laughs> of someone coming to the rescue. In a prison shower. Feeling confident in their numbers, the men closed in on Dylan, overpowering them with ease. Oh no. In the end, Dylan's attempt to intimidate the men proved futile, and they were unable to escape the dire situation. Oh what shit. What about our oh, love? God, he got right to death. <laughs> love was never an option in prison. Damn. Thefty tries to explain that if I were brutally penetrated, the giant meatballs would <laughs> 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 All right, Defty's attempt to reason with the giant black man fell on deaf ears as they closed in, their massive bodies towering over them. Oh no! <laughs> no. <laughs> Brutally penetrated, only began to circle around them. Their <laughs> people switching with anticipation. <laughs> if you try to back away, but their legs trembled beneath them, unable to move. The giants pounced, their massive hands wrapping around Thefty's body. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, God. oh no. As they were brutally penetrated, Thefty's <laughs> face were drowned up by the sound of their own pleading. Their life slowly slipping away. <laughs> Damn, I was having some so detailed. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's shit. wild. Tyler tries to... <laughs> Pull out a shiv and fight them off. Oh, good luck. It's an old thing, dude. Where'd you get the shiv? <laughs> it was <laughs> in my in my prison pocket. <laughs> okay. As Tyler tries to pull out a shiv and fight off the five giant black men, they're met with a wave of brutal force. Uh oh. The men fueled by rage and desire for revenge attack Tyler with reckless abandon. Tyler swings their makeshift weapon wildly, making a land and a, a few or ma managing to land a few glancing blows. But it's clear they're no match for the sheer strength and numbers of their attackers. Despite their best efforts, Tyler is quickly overwhelmed and battered. Their body crashing to the flower floor or the shower floor as men continue to pummel them. In the uh, end, a mercy killing as one of the men delivers a fatal blow to Tyler's head, <laughs> ending their suffering and leaving the five giants to continue their rampage through the prison showers. Damn. Damn. There's no stopping them. No. No one survived I, prison. I th I think that scenario was too hard. <laughs> you had to say five of them, you know? I did say five. Holy yeah, shit. that's true. The default prompt was surprisingly really close to what I was going to put. <laughs> really? Yeah. I was just saying, <laughs> I'm glad my guy was beaten to death and not raped to death like yours was, dude, in the last one. Yeah, dude, I was brutally penetrated. <laughs> dude, it was like, it got in detail. <laughs> I ran out of letters. Uh-oh. I had to get creative. Wait, you get knocked out, you wake up. Wait, what? Like a note that says he must rob a bank. He must rob a bank? Wait, what are you doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Bank has been sealed. Okay. Go and try to. I run into the smallest bank with no security and put a gun up to the teller, yelling, Give me the money or everyone dies! Except that ugly bitch. <laughs> hey, he could even take it out all the way. <laughs> Dylan's plan seemed simple enough, but it was quickly foiled. Fuck. As the small bank security- Hey, they have no security! Sprang to life. Flooding the room with alarms and summoning a swarm of heavily armed police officers. 
The teller, paralyzed with fear, couldn't move a muscle as Dylan pointed the gun at them. The situation quickly escalated as the police burst in and a tense standoff ensued. In the chaos, Dylan's grip on the gun began to slip and the weapon went off, tricking the teller and causing them to scream in agony. As the police rushed in to subdue Dylan, the bomb on their chest detonated, ending oh, their shit. life in a blaze of fire and destruction. Damn. Alright. Simply <laughs> use my big brain to disarm the bomb <laughs> telepathically. My cock is also average size. <laughs> you can't have both. <laughs> Uh, Fetty's attempt to use their big brain to disarm the bomb telepathically was met with a resounding failure as they focused their mind on the device they couldn't help to think about their average size cock which <laughs> seemed to be a constant distraction <laughs> the bomb's got now continued to tick away Fetty panicked and thoughts were only made it worse in a desperate attempt to calm down they tried to clear their mind but it was too late Oh no. The bomb exploded and Thethi's body was torn apart, leaving behind a pile of wreckage and lingering sense of regrets. I oh, should have been thinking about my average size cock. <laughs> you were making this too hard, goddamn. Okay, Tyler tries to buy a gun and rob a um, rob the bank, taking it off in a submarine that is undetectable. Oh that and worry. damn. Tyler's plan seemed foolproof, but it was doomed from the oh, start. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> they managed to purchase a gun and a submarine, but the bank security was too tight. The submarine's undetectable feature was a myth, <laughs> and the authorities were hot on their tail. As damn. they attempted to breach the bank's vault, the police surrounded them, and in the ensuing shootout, Tyler was struck by multiple bullets. Fuck! The bomb on their chest <laughs> detonated, causing widespread destruction and claiming Tyler's life. Damn. God we damn. <laughs> Dude, for real. <laughs> Hmm. Should have hired a squad. Oh. <laughs> Should have said something like, "Thank God I was a massive YouTube star, and all my fans gathered around the bank." <laughs> you were lost in the desert with no water. Okay. <laughs> the first part of mine really seems very Fuck. like non necessary, but <laughs> they're gonna think I'm fucking dead because I didn't get to put an E at the end. <laughs> uh oh. Death, you try to. Start a piss <laughs> pond that eventually turns into a lake. Watch as the camels drink in and add to the lake. Now have piss ocean. <laughs> ocean go well. Dude, mine is actually somewhat like that. As the player Thefty stood amidst the scorching desert, they gazed upon a vast expanse of water that has only been their own urine. The camels drawn by the side of the smell have indeed come to drink, and is doing so, had added to the lake's size. Oh shoot. But as the days passed, the player's hope began to dwindle. The water, once a potential lifeline, just became a cruel joke. That these body became weakened, their skin parched and cracked, their mind clouded by dehydration. Eventually, they succumbed to the unforgiving desert, their body crumbling onto the very lake that had once to survive. Damn, I guess you had no well, escape Well, that wasn't plan. very fun. Damn. No rescue. That sucks. All right, let's see if I go any Dylan better. Dylan tries to. Just when just I thought I was lost in a desert, I remember that one scene from SpongeBob and drove a rock home. I was gone only an hour and fine. I was supposed to say fine, not thin. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. To recreate the SpongeBob scene was a desperate end. Oh, man. Effort. <laughs> They had been wandering in this scorching desert for hours with no sign of rescue in sight. The rock they tried to drive home was simply a small boulder, and it offered no shade or protection from the blistering sun. As they collapsed onto the rock, exhausted and dehydrated, they could feel their vision beginning to blur. The heat was too much, and Dylan's body finally gave out, succumbing to the unforgiving desert environment. Their body lay still, a testament to the dangers of foolishness in the face of nature's furry. Damn. This Damn. game's uh, unforgiving. But it's a rock! Yeah. They drove it on that <laughs> show. It's, it's a, a boulder. It's, it's a, a boulder. <laughs> okay, Tyler tries to... I drink my own piss for hydration and send a satellite, and send satellite communication to get authorities to help me. 
probably will work. Where are you going to get the phone? I already had one. Yeah, Tyler just has to drink their own urine in a desperate attempt to stay hydrated in the scorching desert. Okay, okay, good, good start. While it provides some temporary relief, it ultimately leads to de severe dehydration and worsens their situation. Fuck. Despite their, this setback, they push on, managing to send a satellite communication to authorities for help. However, by the time help arrives, Tyler's too weak from dehydration and heat exhaustion. The rescue team finds him unconscious, and despite their efforts to revive him, Tyler comes to the harsh oh, conditions man. of the desert. Fuck, Damn. dude, what the hell? We're terrible at this shit. Dude, <laughs> we just We're not doing well, guys. over and over. <laughs> oh, shit, okay. Ooh, actually, I kind of like the one that they set me up with. I think I'm going to go with it. Uh, see what Get ready. Is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> this is going to be a little racist. This isn't going to work, but it's going to be funny. How are you going to make how are you going to make this racist? <laughs> <laughs> how can you make this Just racist? Watch. There's <laughs> nothing I can't see. make racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Let's do. Read it. I'll use my surgery kit to cut off my leg and cauterize my wounds. I leave my leg on the mine for the filthy jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this might work. Oh shit, that might. Deputy's desperate attempt to save oh, themselves no. was meant by damn gruesome villain. <laughs> <laughs> As they frantically try to cut off their own leg, the surgery kit they managed to sever the major arteries and nerves. Fair. Causing torrent and blood to gush out. Should have said you were a doctor. Uh, the pain of excruciation, but they continue to try to cauterize the wounds, hoping them, hoping to stem the bleeding. However, in their haste, they accidentally knocked over the kit, scattering instrument supplies across the ground. As they lay there helpless, bleeding out, and mind detonated, <laughs> sending shrapnel flying everywhere, Thefty's lifeless body was left to rot in the midst of chaos. Fuck me. They didn't Damn. say anything about the Japs. That's Damn. too bad. All right. Dylan tries to. I jerk off furiously, and when I get my post nut clarity, I remember how to properly disarm the bomb from what I learned in Vietnam. <laughs> all right, all right. This might work. Dylan's frantic attempt to jerk off furiously only served to distract them from the impending doom as they struggled to reach the... <laughs> <laughs> they struggled to reach a climax. Their mind raced with the desperate hope that they could somehow remember the vital details of bomb disarming from their time in Vietnam. But it was too late. The seconds ticked by with agonizing slowness, and Dylan's moment of clarity came too late to save them. With a jolt of electricity, the mind detonated, sending shrapnel flying in all directions and claiming Dylan's life. I hope mine works. As the dust settled, the authorities were left to sift through the wreckage, wondering how someone could have been so reckless in the face of such danger. <laughs> I too jerked off on top of mines. <laughs> right? I couldn't have so that, dude. That's, if that's how I go, dude, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. Get abducted by aliens and pretend protected for the sake of their research. Huh. Damn, you're All gonna right. die on the table. Tend to get <laughs> met with confusion by the extraterrestrial beings. As they hovered above the mine, Tyler frantically waved their arms and shouted for help. However, the aliens were more interested in the strange explosive device on Tyler's foot than in saving their life. God damn it! They attempted to study the mine, but Tyler's movements caused it to shift, making it harder to defuse. In the end, the mine detonated, <laughs> sending shrapnel flying everywhere, and Tyler succumbed to their injuries. Damn, damn it, dude! I don't think we're winning this one, folks. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I don't think anybody's winning this one. Ooh, okay. Alright, this this one actually has uh Okay. Alright. Okay, I think mine's foolproof. I think I got this. <laughs> mine's I think mine's not. foolproof too. There's no way. <laughs> mine's definitely not. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. All right. 
eat fish heads for the nutrients using a tarp to cover himself and send signal flares in hopes that the Navy sees them and assists. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Tyler's decision to eat fish heads for the nutrients seems like a desperate but rational choice given their dire situation. However, the raw flesh proved to be a poor substitute <laughs> for a balanced diet, and, and they soon felt weak and disoriented. The tarp provided some protection from the scorching sun, but it was no match for the relentless heat and humidity. As the days passed, Tyler's body began to deteriorate, and they became increasingly disoriented and hallucinatory. Despite sending out signal flares, Tyler's cries for help went unanswered, and they eventually succumbed to the exhaustion and dehydration that relaxed his body drifting aimlessly across Damn. the Damn! Damn! It was never set to win. Dude, I swear, this game's rigged. Alright, <laughs> Dylan tries to. I decide I don't care about the plane, or passengers, and get the nearest parachute and life raft. I paddle to land as I see the plane explode. Oh, oh god, there's gonna be strapping the flies <laughs> at him or something. He's gonna as cut Dylan your abandoned shoot. the burning plane, they managed to grab a parachute and life raft. Good, good. They quickly inflated the raft and started paddling towards the nearest landmass. However, the plane's explosion sent a massive <laughs> shockwave through the water, <laughs> making it difficult for them to maintain their course. Despite their best efforts, Dylan was unable to compensate for the turbulence and was swept off course. I should have said explosion. As the sun began to set, they spotted a small island in the distance, but it was too late. They succumbed to the exhaustion and hypothermia, never making it to shore. Damn. Okay, let's see too. If that makes it. I'll use the inflatable boat for myself, leaving the rest of the passengers behind. Then I'll shoot the flare in the sky, calling for help. Okay, so yours is kind of like mine. <laughs> Selfish. Selfish <laughs> use the inflatable boat for himself, leaving the rest of the passengers behind to fend for themselves and fire replane. Let's see if I As they shoot the flare into the sky. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> desperately hoping for rescue, their actions mark them as cowardly individual who values their own life and <laughs> others. True. <laughs> oh my! Unfortunately, their lack of com well, compassion and disregard for the well-being of their fellow passengers leads to their demise as they're unable to survive the harsh conditions of the ocean. Damn. The first uh, losers. How? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want a single I'm time. simply just better. 